This is Daily Flash with your hosts, Andrea Jackson and Mitch English. Trending news and entertainment. This is Daily Flash. Hi, everyone. I'm Andrea Jackson. I'm Mitch English, and we're welcoming you to Daily Flash, Trendy News and Entertainment. Mm -hmm. I've said this many, many times. Yes. Uh, having uh, uh, five kids uh, 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 that have taken raids and that sort of mm -hmm. thing. Their first birthday, for some reason, every parent feels like it should be the biggest, biggest one. For yeah. some and that kid will not remember one <laughs> second of it. And people spend so much money. So, it, But it is a big deal, and I get it. They sure. made it to one year, yeah. all right? Uh, well, this woman, uh, mom, in California uh, was like, well, I want to have a, a birthday party for my one-year-old and created an Evite, right? Okay. And what Evite, anybody familiar with Evite? Yeah, it's sure. online. And it'll go to your contact list, your personal contact list, and, and then send, send all your emails out for you. Yeah. Plain and simple. So she does that. She gets a, uh, makes an Evite up. Puts all the cute little things, one year old, little boys mm -hmm. turning one years old, and hits send and realize she sent it to absolutely everyone in her contacts. Now I have about a good 200 oh, people in no. mind, right? Yeah. That's not the worst part. So, like, um, I'll use example of when I was dating. If I met somebody at yes. like Applebee's, it'd be Andrea Applebee's or Hair lip, or you know, <laughs> it, 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 you, smells. I, yeah. I met yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, smells weird. Yeah, bad breath. Or hey, bad breath. All those were then the no. name. It was like dear bad breath. <laughs> Bob bad breath. No. You're invited to my no. child's one year old birthday party. And uh, she said it, it's uh, hundreds of emails oh. went out um, with that. And so I can get it. Uh, the, the, you know, the, everybody getting one, but you got to be careful with your, what you name people in your contact list. I remember list. that happened with LinkedIn. Like somehow, you know, when you join LinkedIn, then it says, you know, invite other people right, to join yeah, your uh, LinkedIn page. And then you, you hit, okay, sure. But you don't realize it's inviting everyone every from your contact. And people are like, why are you asking me to join LinkedIn? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, shame. Uh, here's one video that you have to see to believe. Uh, let's just call it a real piece of trash, shall we? A crafty porch pirate was caught on a doorbell camera disguised as a garbage bag as they approached the house and stole a package right there from the doorstep, just covered it up and wow. waddled right away with it. A video shows the unidentified person walking up to the home covered in a trash bag with only their feet and slippers visible. The homeowner said he could not believe it when he watched the security footage. Now, we never condone this type of behavior. However, this package thief does get an A for creativity. So, <laughs> look at the, I guess they're Crocs. They, they look like Crocs, they, I guess. Yeah, so like, they're made for white Crocs. Mm -hmm. and, and the trouble that they did, and the reward is not that much, it's like, that really says everything I need to know about mm -hmm. you, of what kind of a human being you are. Right. That you spent all that, and then, you know, just and then try to disguise your height and everything in order to steal something from your neighbor. So yeah. while you're, it says everything about in a you. trash bag. In a trash bag. Is that how they stole your tree? Uh, probably. <laughs> I wish <laughs> so I would have actually found more humor in that. Yeah. But instead, it was just somebody just ripped it out of the ground and walked right off. Be creative, creative if you're going to steal yeah. stuff. Right there in the yard. Well, um, you know, back when I was poor, and if I did any traveling, it was always in trash bags, right? When you, <laughs> you're seeing those guys at the airport yeah, that yeah. have trash bags for their luggage. Well, an airline right now has announced it's actually going to start weighing passengers with those carry-on luggages in their hand mm -hmm. in order to better estimate the plane's weight before takeoff. Now, the controversial move, it comes from the Finnish carrier Finnair. Uh, it just disappeared in Finnair. <laughs> that, that should be that should be get, there. Get your stuff nice. and go home. <laughs> in thin air. Thin air. Uh, <laughs> it, it, they serve the UK. They have budget flights to and from Finland, and airlines work out the weight of a plane all for safe transit. Well, so far, 500 customers have participated in that weigh-ins. The airline assured potential passengers that their data is not being used for personal profiles. Well, I would hope not. Um, still, it's another inconvenience, and we can send a man to the moon, and but we can't figure out like let's a weight distribution sort of thing. And yeah. then, how do they do this like on Southwest Airlines? I'm picking that out because you pick your own seat on Southwest Airlines. Oh, that's a good question. So, how do they get around that? So, is it that big of a deal? Or I've never seen anybody kind of like, in, at least on Southwest, anybody. Hey, well, you need to move over like here. maybe it's like you had know. mentioned earlier. It's the size of the plane. If it's a smaller plane, maybe that's what it is. Um, okay. But like a Southwest plane, I would think that they would be able to manage that, regardless of, you know. No, no matter. Yeah, yeah. It, it seems like they could figure it out. Right. But obviously, it isn't a, as big as a deal as we thought it was. If Southwest is able to do it. Yeah. All right. We I love having you along. We're gonna have more flash. It's coming up right around the corner. Don't you go anywhere.